Hey everyone, this is Z from ZVSG Life coming at you with another update. So this update is to tell you all about my hospital experience. Now, if you have watched my previous videos, you will see that I already had a hospital experience video, but did I? It was actually my hospital stay. It was a bunch of clips and pictures from my hospital stay. But now I'm going to give you my opinion and my feeling of how everything went. Okay, so I arrived. I was scheduled for 4.15. I arrived at like 2.40. No, like 2.15 or something. 2 o'clock. I was supposed to be there at 2.45 to check in and 4.15 for surgery. So I, have, uh, I waited maybe a half hour. So they called me in around 2.45. Uh, a nurse called me back. And she had me brush my teeth and change into the gown and take everything off. But again, I didn't take my underwear off because my auntie Flo showed up. So I told her that apparently this is a common thing and it's like, whatever, I'm 38 years old. I'm not gonna be embarrassed about this. So I told them they got me some mesh underwear and I was able to use my own pad. We were all good. Um, so I waited there, uh, they let my husband come back after I got changed um, and I had I met with a bunch of people, uh, anesthesiologists, um, nurse practitioners and you know just a bunch of different people and they talked to me and asked me how I was doing and got my information. Uh, so yeah, I did that. And the doctor even came in, the surgeon came in, and he also, you know, we also talked for a little bit. It was about 3.45 when he came in. He said everything was on schedule and that I would be going out in about a half hour or so, which was 4.15, which would have been on schedule. Well, he didn't happen. 4.45, I was called, uh, and... So here's one thing that really disappointed me. Uh, way back in May, I had asked my doctor, my surgeon, if he would get me a picture of my stomach after it was taken out. Now, I'm a little weird like that. I like to see these things, especially because it's a part of my body that was taken out. Uh, he said, yeah, he could totally do that just to remind him when the day comes. So I reminded him when I spoke to him. He said, no problem. Just make sure that the team knows about it so they can remind him. So when I go back to the room, remind them. Okay. So this girl um, on the team, I, don't, I think she was a nurse. Her name was Wendy. She came out and got me and my husband. And then she sent him off to the waiting rooms. And she brought me to the operating room section. Now, it's funny because when you watch these medical dramas on TV, the operating rooms are so big and they have like a theater. But I I went for my um, endoscopy in May and it was a small room. And then I went for this surgery and it was another small room. It was slightly bigger, but it was small, but the whole place was cold. So uh, we were talking about that on the way to the room. Now I wish that I had told Wendy about the picture, about wanting the picture before I even got in the room, but I was so excited and nervous and I was like, okay, I should probably wait till I announce it, to announce it to the whole room. So I got into the room. They said, don't worry, we're gonna warm you up with some blankets because we know it's cold in here. I'm gonna put some cuffs on your legs or I can massage your legs to keep from getting blood clots. And like, there was just so much going on, okay? So they had me sit up on the bed and then they had me scoot all the way back and then at that moment, I decided to tell everyone about the picture of my stomach that I wanted. One person heard me, one. The anesthesiologist uh, assistant or the second anesthesiologist, there were two. Uh, and that one, he heard me and he was like, what do you mean a picture of your stomach? After it comes out, I said, yes. He goes, yeah, yeah, that should be no problem. Now, no one else heard me because I realized as I'm talking that everybody else is talking. 
And I wish, I wish, 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 wish that I had been assertive enough to repeat myself. But, you know, I figured, okay, I did what I was supposed to do. I talked to everyone. No one else heard me, but hopefully this guy does what he said. Hopefully these people actually did hear me. It was just like, okay. It was like, repeat yourself, Zena. Now's the time. If you don't repeat yourself, you might lose your opportunity. And I didn't. And then they were putting the oxygen mask on my face. And I was about to say, wait, no, before you, I didn't, I didn't. I was breathing in the oxygen. They told me I was gonna relax, start getting um, sleepy. <sighs> Saw the surgeon come in for about a few seconds. And then the next thing I know, I'm being woken up. I uh, heard my name, they're calling my name. And uh, I felt the movement of being transported to the recovery room. And I even heard and felt them trying to get an IV in my very difficult veins. They had it in this hand, but then they tried to put it here. And then they tried to put it everywhere they were trying was blowing. And so they said they had to get the uh, anesthesiologist to give me a new line. And they did. He finally got one in here. And at that point I was kind of awake and the nurse that was there, cause I was dozing in and out, you know, it was like that situation. Um, the nurse that was there, I think her name was Cynthia. She, um, she said, um, is there anyone waiting for you? I said, yes, my husband. So she said, let me call him. So she called him, he came back. She told him that I'd been out of surgery for an hour, but they couldn't get a line in me for the IV. And so they waited um, until then to call him. No, what I found out was that no one told my husband what was up. The whole time he asked for me twice and at the desk, they just kept telling him that he'd find out what was going on with me when they were done and the surgical team would tell him, but no one did. No one told him what was going on. Uh, the doctor had said that my surgery would take 30, 40 minutes and he waited for me for like two hours and two and a half hours. So he was a little concerned, you know, <clears throat> excuse me. And I didn't even realize it was an hour cause I was so out of it that he was waiting an extra hour for me. And that kind of sucks, you know? So that was very irresponsible. He saw a lot of people coming out and talking and telling their families, you know, what happened to the patient that they were waiting for. But nobody came out to talk to him. Nobody. So that is not good. But anyway, uh, I then found out that I was going to go to the Kimmel Pavilion for my room. And that was awesome because they just opened this Kimmel Pavilion back in June. And um, I really wanted to stay in the new building, but... My surgeon work, operates out of the old building, which is Tish. So I just felt like, oh, I'm going to be stuck in the Tish building. But no, God's blessings are great. He loves me. And when you love your children, you give them good things. And I mean, even if they're brats. <laughs> I love my children. And sometimes they can be brats, but I always want to make them happy. And I really appreciated the fact that not only did I get a private room in the brand new building but I got a corner VIP room and if you haven't seen the video that shows you what a gorgeous view I had go check it out uh, so yeah the nurses were that were there were awesome they treated me very well um, yeah I mean anything I asked them for they did their best to deliver so I'm gonna give a shout out to uh, K, which is what she has people call her, but her name is Khadija, I believe, and Andrea, uh, who was my second shift nurse. And um, yeah, they were so good. They were so great. Um, the next day, the surgeon came, checked up on me. I asked him about the picture. He said he completely forgot and nobody reminded him. I said it would have been cool, but what am I going to do about it? It's over. So that's it yeah, like I said it was other oh I you know I was sore uh, and then for a few days I took Tylenol 
and about the third day out I stopped taking it because I said mm, I'm okay yeah I was I was okay I stopped feeling the pain sometimes I feel soreness in my incisions if you want to see my incisions you can go check out my uh, one week update and then you'll see how they're looking now uh, other than that that was my experience at NYU Langone Tisch Hospital and Kimmel Pavilion. Thanks so much for watching. You guys are the best. I will talk to you soon and I hope to see you next time. Bye. I'm interrupting this video to say that there was one nurse or somebody that worked with Dr. Fielding in the room and she was just rubbing my right arm. I don't know if I looked scared or what, but she was just so comforting. Uh, and part of me wanted to tell her about the picture, but I didn't. But anyway, that's another shout out to her. I, I didn't get to see her face, just her eyes, because she had a mask on. But yeah.